Welcome to the Equinity Podcast, where horse owners just like you share their incredible Equinity stories and how Equinity is changing their horses' lives. Whether you're searching for something to give your performance horse better focus, faster recovery, and more stamina, or in the extreme case where all hope seems lost, give your horse what it needs to help heal at a cellular level, you'll find it here. So jump in on today's episode to hear how Equinity is helping horses worldwide. Now, welcome your host, John Dowdy. Hello and welcome to this week's Equinity Podcast. We're swinging up into Maryland and I've got Sharon Disney on the call this week. Sharon, welcome to the Equinity Podcast. Thank you. Well, it's great to have you. And I tell you what, I came across one of your comments. Actually, it was more than a comment, more like a a short story of how you rescued a horse and all the things that you went through to even get this horse. And it was like... Holy smokes, this story is so amazing <laughs> that it needs to yes. be captured. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, so, it was, it was an amazing but true story. Yeah, so let's just go back to the beginning here and let's tell this story. I think now, for those of you tuning in, this is going to be a story about rescuing horses. And you definitely want to stay tuned for this one because uh, I tell you, well, that's why I have you on because I thought it was so great. So, Let's start from the beginning, and, and how did all this transpire? What what exactly happened? Okay, in August, it was the beginning of August of uh, 2019, my husband and I had gotten new phones. These are called smartphones. And I was getting brave and going through the videos and different things, and I happened to pull up horse slaughtering, and I saw the videos of the horses being slaughtered and some of the pictures of horses slaughtered and I was shown to my husband and he got upset. I got upset and he goes, Oh, he wanted this horse. He wanted that one. I said, well, they've been slaughtered. Oh no. So, uh, we, you know, after a couple of weeks of, you know, watching these, we decided, you know, we've got to go rescue some of these horses. They're absolutely beautiful. So, uh, we happened to, uh, go to an auction in um, Delaware and leaving the auction, we saw a vacant house that was for sale with a a big three horse gooseneck trailer sitting beside it that was all rusted out. So my husband said, Hmm, good idea. Let's check this out. So we did. Now, Sharon, let me jump in real Uh, quick because uh the excitement, well, part of it's a very sad thing starting off, but then your husband's like, Oh no, this is not happening. So we're going to go rescue horses, but yet you mm-hmm. didn't you didn't have a horse trailer. Right. At the time, we didn't. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, but, that's the part but, I thought but, was just like kind of funny because they're like, oh, no, these horses are going to be saved. We're going to go save them. Okay, let's uh, get us. Uh, we need a horse trailer first uh, and foremost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so you're driving past a house, that a vacant house that was going to be sold, and you see this was, horse trailer out there. It, yeah, it was right at the exit of the auction house. Oh, okay. Actually. Okay. Yeah, and that's where. So my husband called the guy and wanted to know what he was going to do with the trailer, and he said, "Well, it wasn't any good. Well, what do you want for it?" And uh, my husband said, "Well, what do you want?" He said, "Give me a hundred dollars." So my husband said, "Fine, I'll take it." Now, what condition? So said, Just, what what condition was oh, this horse trailer in? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> it was. He said it's been sitting 20 years, and it was just, the wheels were literally, there there were no wheels. It was all big, round pieces of rust. It was was four wheels, and all of the wheel, the rim, was just rusted apart. When they went to take the, what do you call it, the uh, hubcaps off, not the hubcaps, the lugs off, the lugs just literally broke off oh gosh so because it was so rusted the whole trailer itself my husband said oh i don't think the trailer is that bad i think it's just all the paint that was rusted which yeah that's what it was it was the paint was all rusted so um we had to end up seeing about buying wheels and tires for this trailer so uh, we told the guy we would meet him this one day to give him the money, uh, the money yep. which ended up being the next day. I got on Facebook Marketplace that night, 
and the night that we had talked to this guy and happened to pull up four wheels from a trailer. People didn't want the wheels. They had ordered new ones and they came in. So wanted $80 for them. So my husband got in touch with them. They called, well, how soon do you want them? I said, oh, we, we want them yesterday. And he goes, oh, so we did. We hopped in the truck, in my husband's truck, and we went up in Delaware. We got the four wheels, brought them back, put them on the trailer, and we brought the trailer home. <laughs> and even though every light worked. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, every with the trailer sitting for 20 years, every light inside and out worked. But my husband said he wanted to redo everything, so he put all brand-new LED lights. So... If you see a horse trailer going down the road that's all lit up like a Christmas tree, that's ours. <laughs> now, now with that trailer sitting for 20 years, it had to be a, a rusty mess. So what what happened yeah. with the next phase of this story? Yeah. So uh, we ended up, it, we bought the trailer September 1st. And on September 23rd, my husband and his friend up the road totally finished it inside out everything was complete so uh, my husband said well on monday we're going up and we're going to rescue so september 30th we hopped in the truck 4 30 in the morning and we were on the road <laughs> and by four o'clock we were home it was funny when we when my husband chose the horses i wanted to pick my own horse he went and he got my got the horse well when we started bringing them out all three horses broke loose, and they ran. That's why we still say, all three of us, my husband's friend, my husband, and I, those horses knew, I guess, maybe our smell or something, because they, all three of them broke loose and ran right to our trailer, which was at the uh, oh, wow. doorway to the place, and all three of them jumped in. <laughs> and the two, gu two guys wouldn't get in the trailer. I did. Oh. I had to get in the trailer with horses I knew nothing about to tie them up. Oh so, my gosh! And we and we brought them home, but they were so skinny. I told my husband, "Why would you get anything skinny like that? There were better horses that look like that." Well, this is the ones that we really need. We need to help them. So, and we're just so glad that we did because the one my husband chose, Midnight, who is the big black one. He won't go to anybody but my husband. Now, my husband had a heart attack and came home. My husband wasn't even allowed to go out anywhere. So I tried to feed Midnight. Midnight wouldn't eat. He kept trying to turn on me. So I had to put my husband on speakerphone to talk to the horse while, so he could eat. So he did. He finally ate. Oh, my gosh. And, so, yeah. so, you, so you got these horses home. They were in a horrible condition, which one can imagine if oh. they're... You know, being Absolutely, rescued. Absolutely, yeah. Then. Yeah, the uh, the vet said, well, really, with his, the vet was saying he was going to have to be put down. Said that he had, he, they were trying to say he had cushions. He was foundered real bad. Well, we ended up, we had him on a um, foot supplement, which wasn't doing anything. But then when I saw this um uh, supplement that you all put on, yes, that's when I ordered it, and both of the horses. Well, of course, by then we had got we had somebody came in and wanted to buy the third horse, so uh, we sold him. But these two now, their feet. The farrier came in about a month ago and said, "I don't know what you did, but there is no founder now." Wow, yeah. So you. Um of course, you're rehabbing these horses, and then you came across our product, the Equinity product, through Facebook, and then that's where they really just blossomed from adding our product? Yeah. Well, I thought, you know, I would try it on mine first, and mm -hmm. then Ricky said, well, Midnight is really bad. He needs it. I said, I know. Well, I started, we had Ricky's horse on another supplement from a feed place for a bodybuilder. And we put this equinity. We had him on that. Well, he had a counter reaction because the other stuff was too strong for him, for the two of them. So we had to take him off that. So I thought, well, I'm just putting brandy on it. So I kept brandy on it. And it was three weeks later. It was like people coming up. That's not brandy. 
What happened to Brandy? Brandy yeah. died. You got a new horse? <laughs> nope. That's my horse. Now my next door neighbor keeps coming over. I've never seen a horse run so fast in all my life. I haven't seen him run yet until the other day when he took off with me. Oh, uh, and this was just since yeah. adding the Equinity product all by itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he'll just get out in the field because we have two different fields. We're waiting for the other field now to grow back up. And uh, he just just took off running. So they just they run around. Brandy used to be the one that followed everybody. Now, well, Ricky just walked in. Ricky can vouch. Brandy is now the leader. He uh, leads everybody. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty so, awesome. That. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got uh, two brand new horses, essentially. That and Now, what are the ages of these horses? Brandy is somewhere in his mid-20s. And Midnight is what? They say eight years old? Eight years old. Yeah. And the other one that we had, the one that we sold, Buff, that was, what was he, three or four? Four. Now, tell us about so, that one that you sold, because that's pretty interesting, what, yeah. ha what happened with him. So, uh, we don't really know a whole lot about him, but he he was built real, real nice. He he was real good. So, Buck. He's <laughs> Yeah, but he, the, uh, tell us um, about what happened with him personality wise and then how why you sold him well we had a young fella come here uh that's married and had young children and uh the guy that who actually my husband's friend who bought buck really was kind of afraid he'd never really been around horses since he was a little kid and he was kind of afraid so he really didn't want buck and we only needed two you know for us so we decided, you know, we'll just go ahead. We can, you know, sell Buck. So that's what we did to this young fellow. And we, like I, I had talked earlier, uh, he, uh, we were kind of afraid of him around kids. But the two little girls, oh, my goodness, they were around his legs and around his feet. And he absolutely loved these little girls. So he went to a fantastic home. <laughs> we're, we're just so glad that uh he, he went to a good home. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I think um, one of the reasons I wanted to have you on, the, the story in and of itself, I think, is fantastic and the importance of uh, rescuing horses if you have the ability to do that. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've had other guests on our podcast that that's what they do is they have rescue facilities. And one of the things that they found with using our Equinity product is it helps in so many ways, and specifically, you know, when you're rescuing, rescuing a horse, a lot of times, because there are so many issues going on in malnutrition, and so you can't just pour the feed to them because, you know, that has uh, negative um, things that can happen if you've given them too much feed, and then, you know, you try right. to do one thing and other things go wrong. So it's uh, a juggling uh, feat in and of itself, bringing these horses back. And mm -hmm. one of the things that we have been told over and over with these rescue horses that when they're feeding them the Equinity, I'm specifically talking about our Equinity Horse Excel, which is 100% pure amino acids. And what that's doing is it's specifically formulated to stimulate the pituitary gland, which is the mm -hmm. master gland in the body. And that's what releases the repairing hormones. And so then the body mm -hmm. can send those repairing hormones to the problem areas. So what we have been told a lot by using this product is it really helps speed up the repairing process and getting these horses back to being a horse again. And you were telling me earlier with your your horse that's 20-something years old, it's almost like you have a young horse again because... The, <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I went from, from an old horse to a young horse <laughs> in, <laughs> in like uh, overnight. Yeah, yeah, mm. just, and just feeling good. That is great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, if there's anybody tuning in that's uh, maybe ever thought about rescuing a horse or maybe they have never thought about rescuing a, rescuing a horse, and after hearing this story, is there anything that maybe you could tell them to maybe encourage them to uh, maybe, you know, rescue a horse? Anything that you haven't already talked about? Maybe something that how you feel when you're rescuing horses or, you know, any, anything that you like to say? Well, I'm, in the beginning, you know, we had never even thought about how what was going on with horses with the slaughtering until I had pulled it up 
on on my phone. And when I saw how they slaughtered them, and when my husband and I both saw the beautiful horses that were being slaughtered and some of the stories behind them that, uh, you know, some of, we saw some of them that were three years old were being slaughtered just because the owners didn't want them. Mm. And that's when my husband said, oh, no, 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 uh, he didn't use those words. He said, oh, no. He said, we're going we're gonna to go rescue some horses. But we, it was a matter of we had to find a trailer, you know, to go rescue horses. And it was just like one thing fell right into place. And, uh, uh, you know, if people saw how they literally slaughtered horses, pull it up. On you know, on your phone or on a computer, slaughtering horses, and you'll see. That's what put us both in tears and made us decide we're going to go rescue horses. We would st- if we had the room right now, we would go rescue a lot more. Yeah, no, it's a it's a very honorable thing to be able to do that, and then and it, it requires you know room and special care and all that kind of stuff. And you know, we're happy to say that our you know, Aquinity Horse Excel really helps uh, speed that uh, process up. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, well, that's so awesome. Well, I, I really yeah. appreciate you uh, taking the time to share your story. I, I found it fascinating, and uh, I just thought, though, <laughs> how you and your husband yeah. saw this going on. It's like, let's go rescue. Wait a minute. We don't have a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, if anybody goes out and rescues a horse, or they see one that's extremely thin, like ours were. I mean, it was almost like you could see everything moving inside of them. Yep. Your supplement is the best thing to ever get for anybody's horse. This works. It, I mean, I actually, I'm so afraid to brand it because I ran out and I'm so afraid that he is going to start losing again and I might have my old horse back but <laughs> I enjoy I love watching him you know the way he is now he's got a beautiful coat his feet are absolutely wonderful now and strong he's just everything is so strong he's like I say he's not a 20 year old he you know I'm tomorrow I get I get my check tomorrow tomorrow I'm going to order uh, some more Oh, that's Because so, I want to make sure. Plus, I want to put Midnight on it and <laughs> yeah. get him built up. Yeah, I love so I love Midnight run off with Brant with uh, Ricky. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. There you go. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome stuff. Well, Sharon Disney, thank you so much for taking the time to share your story here on the Equinity Podcast. Uh, thank you. All right. Thanks. I just hope everybody follows you all. It's, uh, it's absolutely wonderful. That's all for this episode of the Equinity Podcast. For more information on purchasing Equinity, be sure to visit our website at teamequinity.com, where you'll also find product information as well as more testimonials on how others have seen amazing results by implementing Equinity into their horse's supplement regime. We'll have more stories on how Equinity is helping horses worldwide right here on a future episode of the Equinity Podcast.